All right, today we're gonna uh, rationalize the denominator. So first of all, I just wanna explain what does that mean. The square root of two is an irrational number. Uh, the, the denominator has irrational numbers. Um, and we wanna rationalize it. We wanna make the denominator a rational number. Remember, a rational number is any number that can be written as a fraction, a over b, where a and b are integers. If b is one, we end up with a whole number, a, or an integer, depending on the value of a, but that's still a rational number. So, that's what we mean when we say rationalize the denominator, because it's got an irrational number. Another thing I want to point out, though, is there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, this, this is perfectly acceptable. Rationalizing the denominator is simply an exercise in algebra. That's all it is. When we move on to calculus and higher level math courses, we oftentimes leave the answer like this. But back to the topic in hand, to rationalize the denominator, we multiply by the conjugate of the denominator, which is 3 plus the square root of 2. And when we multiply this, I'm going to wait to distribute the 7. And in the denominator, when we multiply, we get 3 times 3 is 9. 3 root 2 minus 3 root 2 is 0. That, that's the nature of multiplying by conjugates. The outside and inside terms always add up to 0. The last terms multiply to a negative 2. And 9 minus 2 is 7. This is the reason why I wait to distribute this numerator, because sometimes they cancel, which is exactly the case here. They do cancel, and we get 3 plus the square root of 2, which we could think of that as 3 plus root 2 over 1, and the denominator is rational, but we did rationalize the denominator.